Hello my crafty friends, how's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel and my craft room. I'm so glad you joined me today. I'm here working on these music, uh, I'm going to call them music covered uh, journals. They are, the covers are made, if you haven't seen the last couple of videos, from sheet music covers. So I went ahead and finished um, the inside. I We did the front together where we put these flowers on the front, the fuzzy cut flowers. And so on the inside, <laughs> here's this one, the yellowish cover or beige cover. And these are both like vintage, from vintage music. Uh, maybe you recognize them as being vintage and maybe you've seen them at thrift stores before. But um, here's what I did on the inside. I wanted to, to put a library pocket here and I wanted to make one out of some pretty paper. So that's what I did. This is pretty scrapbook paper and I put a little label right here. This one has a little bunny on it. And then over here, another pocket, a different type of pocket, just a little simple pocket with a thumb notch there. And let's see, you can put things in there. Things in here. Here's the pocket on this one. And also I left this open here. So uh, lots of options. And then I also put a little that same flower book that I'm working with here in these journals. I found a flower that I like to put up here. And so uh, this is a, I put one up there to be a tuck spot there. So lots of places to tuck in, tuck things in inside the cover plus these two pockets just on the cover. We're not even dealing with pages yet. And uh, I'll show you the other one in just a second. Well, let me show you what else I did on the back. Uh, I put a belly band on the back. I saw this in a video and I was like, well, that's a good idea. So I wanted to try it and here it is. So it's pretty cool. If you have a few things, maybe you don't have time to stick them in. You do want to open it up and put it in one of these big pockets. You can stick it right here. Uh, you know, put it down on wherever you keep it. And then when you pick it back up and you have time to deal with putting things in, you have your little goodies right there. So and that is sewn on and decorated with a little ephemera piece there. I put a little label here too on this one because it had a little price tag right there. And it wasn't the price tag where I paid for it. I think it was, I think it might've been the original price tag. It just looked like an old, you know, price tag. So uh, that's that one. And so on this one, here's what I did. Here's the cover in case you haven't seen it. And then on the inside, here's the library pocket. Um, let's see, I have this piece of ephemera over there. And this I have right here to show you the different places. So here's this library pocket where you can tuck stick things. Here's the pocket behind the library pocket. I put a little label on this one right here because there was a pr the price tag on this one, the original price tag was right here. Make sure you can see that right here. And then here I have uh, a flower from the flower book. And then on the back pocket, same type of pocket. Um, and there you go, a little pocket. And this one I put a label. Here's the tuck spot on this one. And then the back belly band on this one with a little piece of ephemera on it. There you go. So. Today I wanted to show you or go through with you and have some fun uh, getting some pages ready. So here are the papers I have picked out. Lots of um, neutral pages, but I also have, well, this one should be turned over because this is scrap of paper. <laughs> and then uh, a couple of colored pages, yellow for the yellow one and blue for the blue one. So let's get started. So, um, I cleaned off my table here. I have nothing here, so if I need something, I'm going to have to get up and get it. <laughs> I'm used to having it, things at my fingertips, but I cleaned it off because uh, my granddaughter is three and a half now, and uh, I think it's time, you know, I always pictured, even before she was born, I pictured her coming in here with me and sitting on the other side of this table and crafting with me. So I think it's time she's um, become very interested in coming in here and looking around. 
Of course, I have to tell her not to touch anything because <laughs> you have a lot of stuff in here. And it's not really baby-proofed. Every, everything's put away, but still, I can't have her just pulling things off shelves and things like that. But I thought if I... Um, I sit in a stool next to this table. Right now, I'm sitting on a stool. and I So I have a stool that she can sit on. I'll have to test that out because, you know, she's three and a half and she sits on stools with backs, but, you know, seat backs right now that I have in my kitchen. But I, she's not, I don't think she's used to sitting on a stool without a back. So we'll have to test that out and see how that goes. I'd like to pull a couple of um, pages out of here. Uh, let's see how these are going to be, though. These might actually be a little bit too small. But uh, I still would like to, I told you I, would, I was going to take the wire out of here, and I haven't done it yet. Maybe I'll show you. Just one second, let me grab something. And I will show you, if you've never done it, how easy it is to take one of these spiral, this is a metal wire, off. So what I do is just, there's a little fold in the wire on this one right here. So I just undo that, kind of like straighten it up so it can go through the holes. And then the other side too, go ahead and straighten that up. And if you can, <laughs> the best you can. And these are just little jewelry pliers. Uh, okay, that looks pretty straight. And then you just unwind. So just unwind. And it goes really fast. See if you can see the holes right here where it's coming out. So it's going down this way. Coming out of the book. And just turn it easy peasy <laughs> and just keep turning it until the whole wire is out so then if you want to save this wire for something you can if you have something to do with it and you can do whatever you want with it save it throw it away <laughs> if you want to throw it away don't feel guilty because if I throw something away that maybe someone else can use like something like this it's um, it's just uh, kind of, I look at it as taking stress off me. Like if I were to keep this, I'd be like, well, now I have this. Now I have to figure out how to use it. And I put stress on myself. And I'm like, when I throw something away like this, I'm just like, okay, I'm just taking stress off of myself. So I don't have to worry about using that. You know what I mean? So I don't know. That's my, that's my psychology, craft, craft psychology right there. But okay, so now this is taken apart. See, now we have all the pages available. And then we still have our holes too because sometimes I like to just take this, as you may have seen on my channel and a lot of channels. And you know, if this would be in the signature, then you would end up having these holes over here, which I think is a cool decoration. And you can do things with those holes. You can run a ribbon through there or maybe hang something on there if it's uh, not too heavy where you're going to tear the holes. But even just having the holes there is a pretty decoration, I think. So uh, let's go ahead and we'll have two of these. This is um, this is with no writing. Most of this book has no writing. Just the first little bunch here has writing on it. And I do want to use those too. I just don't know if I'll have enough uh, room in this journal to use any of the ones with writing on them. If I do, or maybe I'll put them one in a pocket or something and someone can use it if they want, or however they want. But uh, that that's actually a good idea. I think I might try to remember to do that. But anyway, for right now, I'm just going to, uh, we're gonna work on making two signatures. And so that's our first paper. Well, let's uh, see if I can put that to the side. But yeah, I cleared everything off my desk. I didn't have that much on here, but I have a little box of pencils and ruler and scissors that I usually keep over there. And on the other side, and uh, that's I put everything over there on my little. I have a little desk over there too, so um, everything's over there. Let me see. Let me put this back together. And uh, so, uh, if I don't if I don't have it here, I'm gonna have to get up and grab it. But it's right there, so I figure it wouldn't be too bad. And I just be, you know, I put already put over here what I know I'm gonna need, like my paper cutter, my paper. So. I might be good to go, but we'll see how it goes. Like I had to get it. Well, these I didn't keep. These are in a little drawer right over there. 
um, in that desk too. But uh, so yeah, I wanted to have it ready for when she comes again. So she's uh, really likes to cut. I discovered last weekend she likes to. My granddaughter likes to cut paper, and she likes to. So that's something. You know, I mean, it might not be a big deal, but she <laughs> she spent quite a bit of time cutting paper uh, last weekend, and she likes to glue she likes to color she likes to write with a pen or a pencil um mark little you know kid markers that i have for her and i have a coloring book and i have a composition book that she can color in and uh, i wanted to pick out um possibly three of these papers and so i can have some pretty papers in these journals too not just all um you know colorful papers so I need to refer to them too to see what I used. Okay, so so I really liked. Did you see that one? I just where is that one? There's a yellow one. I like that one. I didn't use something like this for the pockets because it wouldn't stand out, but using it as a page in the yellow one would be great. So I'm gonna pull that one out, and there's one more with yellow in it. I just had it and it uh, disappeared now. Let's see where did that go. But uh, anyway, yeah, so I have it all cleared off now, ready to go for the next time she is here with me and I'm watching her. Um, we can come in here. Here it is, this one. This one I wanted to use too, kind of for the pockets, but since it has a yellow background, I didn't think it would stand out enough. So there we go. So we have two so far. Let's just go with two so far on the yellow one. And now two for the blue cover. So let's start again back here. Now this one I did use. Did I use that one on the pockets? I think I did. Hold on. Let me let me get my reference out here. <laughs> kind of covered it up. Oh no oh no. I used here's what I used for the pockets. I guess I was looking at this one too and decided this would stand out more against the light blue. So. And plus, maybe I just um, didn't want the colors to clash or not go with this fabric here on the spine. So that's why I picked these colors for the pockets. But for the pages, we are open for whatever, whatever we think goes for the journal. So that one for the blue, and then one more blue. Blue, oh, it doesn't have to be blue, it's just one more whatever we like. So, um, that has blue, yellow, and that pinky hues in it, in the flowers. And so, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Purple. This is pretty. I was looking at this one, too, but the flowers, for the pockets, but the flowers were so different than the flowers in the fabric that I didn't choose that one, but I do like this one. So this might be the second one. Let me just make sure there's nothing else. That's the pocket one. That's the one for the other one. I don't think I really want purple. So here's another one with blue in it. I actually think I like this one better than that one. So I'm going to keep this one. Hold on to this one. There's three of each. That's the pocket paper. I don't really want a pink background in this journal. Uh, that's the other yellow journal. Uh, this one is a uh, possibility. It's very similar to the other paper. Uh, let me look at this. Okay, I'm going to hold on to this one too. I've got my fingers kind of marking it here. Uh, again, pink, dark blue background. Uh, I think I want these to be a little bit lighter. Oh no, green would be good too, except that except these have pink flowers light pink flowers well, well really white and pink and so I don't know I don't know if I don't know then it's probably no <laughs> purple and we're just about done this has bur pink birds on it so I don't really it's more tropical looking so okay so it's between this one and this one so between those two I think I like this one better so let's pick that one out and now we have two of those. I was thinking three, but I can come back or get other scrapbook papers if 
I need it. But I think I'm going to end up with too many papers anyway. So that's what always happens. I took an allergy pill this morning, but yeah, my for my eye, basically for my well, my eyes and my nose, but uh, and they are doing better, but still a little, maybe a little sniffly. But, so I might take another one a little bit. But uh, yep. Okay, so now we start folding papers. And I might just fold them all. So this journal is about six inches wide. And these papers are going to end up, by the time I fold them, six inches wide. So let's see how they... They're right, pretty much almost right to the edge. I may have to trim them a little bit, but I might wait until I get them in there. And then I want to make some pockets on these two. So... Well, let's go ahead and make a pocket on this one and I'll show you what I'm talking about so uh, to make a pocket I just and I'm sure a lot of you have seen that me do this before standard fold up and these I feel like I they're fine folding up like this I don't really see like this being looked at as upside down flowers just pretty flowers <laughs> So, yeah, I wanted to add some pretty paper in here, too. I always, it's like I always have to add some pretty paper in my journals. So. That's a good length. Somebody, my husband was going to mow the grass this morning. I think I hear a lawnmower, so hopefully that is him. Because <laughs> it did need to be, well, it wasn't super high, but. But it's a little bushy, so... Okay, so I just had to grab my scissors from over there. I was wondering if I was going to get away without using my scissors. But no. <laughs> so I always cut this little triangle here. And... I like the way the pockets look like that. Plus, it, you know, this is more open and easy to get. You know, instead of being... It makes it a little bit more tight less bulk here when you go to sew in and uh, it makes this not so tight to get something in and out of there so um, that's that I think I might go ahead and fabric tack these pockets down and then if I want to sew I can sew later uh, let me grab my fabric pack And we'll go ahead and glue these together, and then if I want to sew, that'll just be more reinforcement and decoration. Okay, so this bottle's getting down to the nitty gritty here. My son's dog is barking. If you hear a dog barking <laughs> upstairs, right through the dog, I can hear is right above me right now in the upstairs of our house. <laughs> My craft room is right below where he is right now. She is. That's Juno. So, alrighty. So these, this will be for the yellow one. And that's how it looks. And if I need to trim this, I'll trim it later, but I will. I will definitely need to trim that. It's already sticking out a little bit there. So, well, that was a good reason not to put glue on it yet on the pockets. So, anyway, if I make any more pockets, I won't put glue on right now unless I'm going to cut them first. Because <laughs> I'm going to have to probably reapply the glue on that one. But, uh, so this is going to be the next page. Okay, so this is what I want to do now. I want to fold all the pages. I don't know if you ever do this, but... Uh, or find this fun but sometimes it's fun I mean I have done this with a book like where I take a part of book and I know I'm going to use some of the pages but then I end up just folding all the pages in half I mean if you use them as single pages later you can always cut the fold off here a little sliver or open it up and cut it in half but um, I just some for some reason that's uh, Maybe some kind of therapy for me or something, but I just really like folding pages. 
Uh, it's, it's a strange junk drawing thing, I guess. But <laughs> So here's our manuscript music papers, one for each. So we're going to make a pile of papers here for each journal. This is the blue, this is the yellow, as you can see. So we're just going to fold the papers, and you'll see all the papers that we're using. So I really, I showed you, but I, I showed you, but I didn't show you. So this is going in the yellow. Uh, let's see, where's the blue one? I'll try to show you compare the comparison for the other one for each, you know, each separate one. So that's the yellow one. This is the blue one. So this is actually yellow paper, and then this is actually dyed paper uh, that I've dyed, dyed myself with. Uh, this is dyed with food coloring. So very pretty. And then the next papers are going to be uh, some coffee dyed ledger. So let's see what those look like. Like this. Coffee dyed ledger. All right, one for each. They have a nice crinkle to them when they're coffee dyed, don't they? And then, uh, let's see, I have, let's see, I, I have some random pages in here too. <laughs> so, let's see, so I have um, several coffee dyed papers for each one. I wanted like the scrap of paper, I wanted two or three, I want... Uh, I was thinking three coffee dyed papers. So here's a coffee dyed paper um, for each one. Three for each. I think that's what I pulled out. Three of these. Nicely uh, coffee dyed papers. Let's fold all of those. Yeah, it's a rainy day. Well, it rained a little bit yesterday, like not all day. Most of the day it didn't rain, but it rained a little bit yesterday. So, and did it rain today before? But anyway, whenever it rains, I'm thinking, and usually my experience with allergies is the rain washes away the pollen, so I have less chance of having an allergy, full-on allergy attack or just too many allergy symptoms where I have to take a pill. And you know, get rid of the symptoms. Get rid of the symptoms or the results of being allergic to pollen. <laughs> okay, so that's all of our coffee dye paper. Now the other next paper is this music paper. So this is going to be folded like this. Okay, and this one. Yeah, so anyway, but yesterday I didn't have to take an allergy pill, and it just rained a little. Today hasn't rained yet, but it's supposed to rain. It says has thunderbolts, lightning bolts, whatever, on the weather, you know, on a little weather app. So I'm assuming that means a lot of rain <laughs> and thunder, thunderstorms. So, but nothing is happening yet. That's why my husband's out mowing the grass. And I was looking... I'm, I was thinking I wouldn't have to take an allergy pill, but no rain yet, and uh, but it's not sunny, and uh, it's just cloudy, and uh, so I did have to take an allergy pill this morning. Anyway, this is, um, I cut that in half because this is coffee dyed composition book paper, so that's another one for each. I didn't know if I was going to use that in one or both, but I'm, as you can see, I'm using it in both. And this is a random page I pulled out from the flower book. It just has text in it, so I thought maybe I would use that in one. I only have one of those. I guess I could look for another one. Well, let's count, like in this 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 pile here, how many pages do we have, or how many papers do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's a good amount. So that means I'm probably only going to have nine over here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, I did count right. 
Okay, so I need one more over here. Let me grab my flower book. I have everything in my project cart over there. Uh, like I've shown you in my organization videos where I keep everything uh, separate in little baskets in my rolling cart. And so this project is in the top tray with a basket, removable basket from Dollar Tree. And that way I can keep my table cleaned off and just grab whatever parts I'm working on. So this was a random, uh, just a page with text on it in this book. I don't know if there's any more of those, but uh, kind of just flipping her through here to see if I can find one real quick or do I actually need to flip through all the pages. So uh, I didn't know if I wanted to put any of these flower pages in there because I didn't want to make it, you know, too flowery <laughs> if that's if that's possible but because uh, I you know I love flowers but I heard someone say that they didn't really like flowers I was, oh I didn't know there was anyone out there that didn't like flowers <laughs> how could that be <laughs> I don't know I don't, that does not compute <laughs> how do you not like flowers <laughs> so I was like maybe I shouldn't make it too flowery but okay this one has a little flower right here which is cute and a lot of text so I'm going to use that for my text page in this one. So that's 10 papers in each one. That technically is enough, but I always find more things like to stick in here. So um, I, would, I, I kind of, um, I kind of want to put one more of these in here. And then like if I stick in an envelope or some random thing, papery thing that I find in my stash while um, getting these ready to bind, that's always a possibility. So let's just see real quick if there's any more like papers. I like that this one with all the text and a little flower right there. That's really cool. That is a uh, trying to see. I guess that's one of the introduction pages. So I don't know if there's any more like that. But this one's really pretty with this yellow flower on it. And see how this one would be cool over here with half text on this side and a and a flower over here. That one would be really cool. I want to put that up there as a possibility. And let's just see if there's any more pages with just, most of them have these big flowers. Let's just see, I kind of would like another one with, uh, let's see, let's see this one, this, this one, this side. A lot of them have a little flower on one side and a big flower on the other side, like this. So that would be a possibility. And this one that we put over here, that's the yellow one. Okay, let's put this one over there too. And then we're, we're not going to pull out any more with big flowers. I just want to see if there's any more with little flowers on both sides. So real quick, this has a um, big flower on one side and no flower on this side. So that would be a nice blank spot. And then this side would be like this. That's pretty. Gosh, there's... I might have just too many choices, <laughs> so let's just see. I'm going to try not to. Um, I'm going to try not to uh, stop on every one and just do what I'm trying to do, and that is see if there's any more text pages with just little flowers on them. Yeah, this book had a cover that I took the cover off, but um, it had a cover that was not very special looking. And then when I opened it up, it had all these beautiful flowers in it. And I got it at, at the thrift store. So it was very surprising. Uh, it's a good... Because that's happened more than once to me where the, like you, you see a book and it doesn't look like anything. And then you open it up and you're like, oh my goodness, look at this. And so I always try to open the book. That's pretty. I like those two flowers a lot. This is what I'm trying not to do. So I'm not going to choose that one because I don't really like this right here. But that would just be something that you would glue on top of anyway. So, all right. Little flowers on both sides, Sherry. Focus. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. It's a geranium. One of my favorite flowers. 
one of my favorite flowers. Okay, see, they probably all have. Let's go a little faster. Huh, I didn't think I could go faster. I guess I can. Ooh, look at all those flowers. All right, faster. Interesting. I'm trying to picture them. Oh, this just has flowers on both sides. Flower and flower, no text. That would be interesting. I like that. I like that one too. I'm going to have to put that one out there as a choice. Oh, here's one. And this one would be, this is the title page. And so one side would be like that. One side would be like that. Hmm, interesting. Oh, here's one. This is it right here. Here it is. We found it. <laughs> little flower, little flower. Okay, I'm going to put that one up there. And I doubt if there's any more. <laughs> we found the one. I already cut, cut a flower off of here yesterday. Cut a flower out of here yesterday. Right here. Those are the this one I think was a tux one of the tuck spots. Okay. Oh this one. Yeah, that's a big one on, on that one side. Oh here's the index or the contents page. That's could be interesting. Oh I like that one too. And there's a big one on that one. Oh I like this one too. Well now I have too many choices. So these are the top two. Um, I already picked one out though. I already have the plain. Let me get these off my out of the way here. I get my two piles of pages back. So this one, uh, I'm going to put over here. So I already put one over here. So we're even now. And so I'll put one more. See, this is what happens. <laughs> You'll find too many good pages. But uh, that's it. I'm going to let my, let it go at that. And then so I'm going to trim these down off video, like right now. And then I'll come back and show you how they turned out. And maybe we'll... Uh, I'll either put, put them in order now or when I come back. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've got my pages all uh, cut down and things like that, but I didn't have to cut down them all. Uh, just as a reminder, I just really had to cut down the scrapbook paper and a couple of papers. But then, as I was cutting them down, I was like, oh, I remembered I wanted to, wanted to pull out some of my, uh, you know, really vintage ledger. And so I pulled out two of those pages, one for each journal. These right here, they have the pink and blue lines with a little number up there. So those are super cool. And then for ephemera, I was thinking about these for pages, but I don't know if I want to put them in as pages. These are little, this was a ledger that is all written in, and it's from um, 1909. Very cool. So I thought maybe I, I just got a couple of these out to put in the pockets of the journal, uh, and then someone can do what they want. You can use these in an, a master board or make ephemera out of them because you could like cut them right down the middle. See how there's like two pieces here kind of. Uh, so you could cut it down the middle and make some drill cards or tags. They're blank on the back. They're nicely aged and naturally aged and uh, very cool. So two, one for each, uh, one on the, you know, for each journal on those. And then here's another ledger page that I got out. This one I thought also I will uh, make into two pages. I'm just going to cut the fold off and put one of these in each journal. But these, uh, they don't have, a, I don't think I found a year on here. Oh yeah, I did. 1940s. This was from the 1940s. Like there's different 1940s dates in here. These particular pages have 1947 right there. Uh, so, and oh, this one says 1949 right there. So 1940s. So one of those is going to go into each journal. And then I, uh, while I was looking for the ledgers, I found these papers. 
and I think are really cool. They're, um, it's, it was a stationery set that I had picked up at a thrift store, I believe, and in Florida, if I remember right, because uh, I saw them there, and it there, and uh, it was a good price, but it wasn't as low as I wanted it to be, or would have liked it to be, but it was still a good price, you know, because, I mean, look, look at it, so cool, right? So I went ahead and got it. So I'm going to put one of those in each journal with the pages. So I'm putting this in our page, my page piles. And then I thought of some doilies, uh, my coffee dyed doilies here. So I thought I'd put one of those in each journal. See how, see what happens? <laughs> this is how the pages add up when I start looking for things and I find other things. <laughs> so uh, that's how I end up with too many, you know, if I end up with too many pages, that's what happens. Okay, so there's two of those. That one's this one's actually backwards, upside down, backwards, whatever. Okay, so there, that's the front. Okay, so one of those in each pile. So now I just made piles as I went along and, you know, cut the pages. So I have not put them in order. So here's one pile. Nice bunch of pages, I would say, for the blue journal. So let's put these in order. So I, I like to start off with a pretty page, uh, like a scrap of paper page. We only have two of those in here. So uh, I could end up putting another one in here, you never know. But I didn't glue the page, I didn't glue the pockets together yet. So um, I think that I will start off with the this page. Let me, let me see how it looks next to the cover. Yeah, I think that'll be nice. This one's a little bit bigger flowers. I guess they both would look nice, but I think I'll start off with this one. And then go from there. So next, let's get the pages over here. This scra other scrap of paper page I'm going to put in the middle. I'm going to move this out of the way now. Oh, and I did want to show you... I was going to show you real quick the uh, paper pad that I was using where these uh, this flowered scrap of paper was coming from. This is Paper Studio from uh, Hobby, Hobby, Hobby Lobby. I believe it got it. I, if I ever buy scrap of paper from Hobby Lobby, I always buy it on sale. Usually, usually they have the sales I've gotten in on are buy one, get one 50% off. So by the time you spread that price, whatever the price is, over two paper pads. It's pretty good. And these are, I, I usually get the big ones if I buy scrap of paper pads from uh, Hobby Lobby or if I were to get them, I think I might have gotten a couple from scrapbook.com. I'm not sure. But anyway, I always get these big ones. And so this is uh, a flowery one and it has uh, 60 sheets and it's, it's cardstock. It's one-sided. See, it's white on the back and it's one-sided but uh, it's called fabric floral on this one right here fabric floral and uh, it's uh, I, you know if you're like when I first started scrapbooking I was a little like unsure about like I let I knew I loved scrapbook paper but I was unsure about whether to whether I had to have double-sided or or one-sided I didn't I couldn't really decide which was better and I don't think either one now I don't think either one is better than the other I use both because when it's one-sided I take advantage of the white and make pockets so usually you'll see me almost always making pockets on so that you have that color there from the and then it's you know it's a nice to have that paper 12 by 12 paper to make the pockets do the pockets as a flip up or if it uh, ends up being something that you don't want upside down, I will cut it off and turn it around and then glue it on or sew it on or both. So anyway, let's just put these pages in order now. So I like to uh, do a variation where, you know, you don't have two of the same paper in a row or two of the same color uh, like that. So these are pretty much all different papers. But uh, let's see, the second paper, let's put like one of our coffee dyed papers, since we have three of those spread throughout the signature. We'll put one of those here. And then maybe our, we have two book pages, so maybe one of our book pages, the flowered book pages. 
And then uh, let's do our muse. Let's do a writing paper, what I would call a writing paper next. Like you can write anything that you can write on, I call writing paper. As far as a lot of space to write, like this coffee dye paper would be a writing paper or whatever, but I'm just saying you could write on it. And then here's one of that le vintage ledger that I just showed you. So that can go here. That is the same size as that one. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Let's put this one next, this ledger paper, because it's a different size than the one right before it. And then, uh, then let's put, let's see, we didn't put our music paper in there yet. Let's put our music paper next. And then our, uh, another, another uh, coffee dyed paper. And then uh, let's do another book page here. This needs a better crease on it. It feels thick, like a thick fold there. <laughs> Let me use my fingernail on that. Okay, so there's the uh, flower page. And then this page, let's see, this is actually smaller than this one. Or is it, si it's kind of, oh, it's the same size again. Let me, let me get a different one. Let's do the blue paper next. And then this ledger. That'll look pretty too against we've got the blue lines here. Gotta grab a tissue. Got the blue lines and the blue paper there. Okay, next. Let's see, where's our second? Okay. Let's do this paper next, the stationery. And you can write on here too, but it is different. It doesn't have lines on it on this side or either side. And then let's do our, let's see, let's do our, that we have left, this one, uh, uh, let's do this one, different color, it has lines, and then this is different color again, back to the coffee dyed, and then this uh, scrap of paper, which I had it folded this way. But for the middle page, I fold it this way because I want this color in the middle. That's why I'm making it the middle page. So when you get to the middle, you have this beautiful spread of beautiful flowers. And that will be it. Now I see <clears throat> this one's really protruding. So I would imagine, oh, that's the middle page. I'm probably going to have to cut that. I'll cut that because I don't like it protruding like that. Let's go ahead and cut that a little bit. I saved all of my strips so I can uh, do something with those. I have them right here sitting. So let's uh, let's see. I need to cut a little bit off here and there. I don't know if my sew machine, I mean my paper cutter, will go through four layers there when the when the pockets are together. So let me just do it like this. And then I'll measure and put it together so I can measure the other cut to put be in the same spot. Pretty much. So that should be good now for the middle page not to protrude like that. Yep, that is good. Well, it looks pretty too with the uh, blue of the color cover right here next to the blue of this. It's all said and done. It'll be like that. Okay, and that's a lot of paper in there. Uh, we didn't put our doily in. Hold on. I see my doily sitting here. <laughs> we didn't put the doily in. Let's find a spot for our doily. Let's go like right in the middle of this whole bunch of papers here. We'll put it right here. Oh, it's a little tall, isn't it? I didn't. I thought it was the right size. Ah, I did use the bigger one. Didn't I? Are these both the same size? Yeah. So I need to cut it a little bit off of one end. Let's cut the bottom a little bit here. Make a little fold here and cut the bottom off like that. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever had to do that before, but I wanted to use a big one. That's why I got these out. I have different sizes. That'll be fine though. Here we go. Now it fits. <laughs> and it looks pretty because it covers like this whole page before it. So there we go. Okay, there's one. Now the other one. 
Alrighty. Let me put this back over here. Out of the way. Strips over there. Grab our pages. Let's see. Here's our pages, including our doily. And more pages. Okay. So I'm going to kind of do it similar to the other one. Since we have the same types of pages, I'm going to go, as we're going through, I'm going to be looking at, try to be looking at the other one, because I like how I did the other one. Okay, so uh, let's see which one we want to start with. Either this one or this one. Huh. I was really thinking I was going to go with the plain yellow one. No, it's not plain, but yellow and white or whatever that color is. But I like this one too. Hmm. Now I'm confused. <laughs> Let me try this one again. Oh, I think it's got to be this one. This has more of a wow factor when you open it up. It's like, ah, oh, pretty. Prettiness, a lot of prettiness. Okay, so this one will be our center. And we're probably going to have to trim that one down too. Uh, okay, now, then I put a copy dyed paper. Copy dyed paper. And then our ledger, green ledger. And then our music. Is that right? Yes, music. And then coffee dyed flower. Coffee dyed flower page. And doily, which I need to cut off the bottom. Let me just use my scissors on this one. I cut off about like this, about that much. And then the yellow paper. And then a uh, ledger cough. Oh, ledger stationery. Uh, what ledger is that? Oh, oh, the, the vintage ledger. Where is that? Vintage ledger. Oh, I hope I don't miss any. Vintage ledger stationery, I said. This. Okay, and coffee and manuscript, coffee dyed, manuscript, and I should bring this closer so I can see, right? I'm having to really reach over there. Okay, uh, coffee dyed manuscript, uh, Coffee dyed, lined paper, and oh, I have an extra flower page here. I knew I was going to miss something. Okay, and this one I have to trim also. So let's let's see. Does it protrude on this one? It's barely. It's a little bit. It seems like it's a little bit smaller on this one, but it's still a little bit. So I need a little sliver off of here. And and that was just a sliver, like a literal, actual sliver. <laughs> when I say sliver, I mean sliver. <laughs> Yes, we got it. Okay. Now put this back here again. Okay, so this is in our middle. And the slivers I'm not keeping. Okay, so. Alright, scrap of paper. Now, where did I go wrong with missing this flower page? Let's see, I'm sure I put two in here. 
Oh, there's one. The third page is a flower page. I think that's where I missed it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, did. I missed that spot. I missed that one because it's a little bit smaller. And I didn't see it. And I didn't open it. Oh, I didn't have the other journal open all the way. So this one's going here. All right. There we go. Another journal full of fun, beautiful pages. Uh, let's see how it looks. I want to see the, if this middle page is sticking out still. Or is it good? Okay. Just pretend like it's sewn in. And... No, it's not sticking out. I think it's good. Okay. That is it. So I'm going to um, put those pockets together and then sew these in. I'll do some decorating after that and adding ephemera. And these will be ready before you know it. So... Stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed today's page project, and that was a lot of fun. And uh, let me show you the blue. I can see it from here. It's so pretty. So I want you guys to see what I'm seeing. The blue with the blueness here. It's a little bit of blue and coffee dyed paper, but isn't that pretty? With that little bit of blue in there. And then this one with the like yellowish cover. And then you see... See in the camera the yellow here. Let me get this out of the way. The yellow, yellowness. That is really pretty. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Thanks for watching today, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day.